Hey you guys, this is Michelle Goldstein and you're at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Before we get started, I'd like to thank our latest sponsor, Odor Cleanse. Odor Cleanse is a mineral-based, eco-friendly laundry additive that gets odors like mildew, perfume, sweat out of your laundry. So you add this stuff to your laundry load and it leaves your laundry smelling clean because that's the way the clean smells, like nothing. There's no perfumes, there's no dyes, so check them out. There's a discount code in the description of the video. You can click on that link and please subscribe to Heart Alchemy Yoga. Please like, share, and comment on the videos. Find us on Instagram, find us on Facebook. We love hearing from you and we love connecting with you. So today's practice is a sweat it out and cool it down yoga practice for summer. So this is a heat building yoga flow sequence to help sweat out any heat, toxins, stress, stagnation, whatever. And then it'll finish with a cooling floor sequence, including some special pranayama to help cool the mind and body. Let's go ahead and get started. Get started in a comfortable seat. And as you gently close your eyes, as you gently turn your attention inward to yourself, into your body, Notice how you feel. How do you feel right now? Allow your breath to deepen. As we move into some ujjayi breath, which is the deep ocean sounding breath in and out through your nose. And on an inhale, you'll arch your back, pull the heart forward, slide the shoulders away from the ears. And as you exhale, round in through the spine, tuck the chin to the chest. And as you inhale, pull the heart forward, arch your back. And as you exhale, round in, draw the navel in and up. One more time, inhale, Arch the back, keep space around the neck, especially the back of the neck. Exhale, round in through your spine. And then lengthen your spine upward. Bring the right hand to the ground next to you, left arm over left ear. Grab a side stretch, maybe bend that right elbow a little bit and turn if it feels okay on your neck, your chin up toward your right, el your left elbow. Deep ocean sounding breath, ujjayi pranayam. And come on up. Let's quickly switch the cross of the legs and we'll switch sides. Left hand to the floor next to you, feel the side stretch without collapsing into your left side. So be mindful that you maintain the length and integrity of your spine. And come on up, both arms reach high. And we'll make our way into downward facing dog. Hands to the mat in front of you, tuck the toes under, lift the hips up. So the ujjayi breath is extremely warming in its thermal nature. It warms the body powerfully as it cools the mind. It's one of the only breaths in all of the yogic breathing practices 
that has two thermal natures. It heats the, the body and cools the mind. It cools the central nervous system. It's one of the reasons that it's so effective and warms the body so that we can move more intelligently and safely into the postures. Root your fingers into the ground, push up out of the shoulders. And inhale to a plank position, firm the belly, lengthen the spine. Exhale to chaturanga, lower halfway down. Inhale, flip over the toes, lift the heart up. And exhale, hips draw back, downward facing dog pose. And step the right foot up to the front of your mat, please. Reach the right arm up for a twist. Shoulders down the back. You ought to be able to hear the sound of your breath gently, okay? It's not necessarily crazy Darth Vader breath, but it's audible. It sounds like the ocean. One more inhale, open the chest. Exhale, right hand down to the ground. Lower the left knee to your mat. Climb your hands up onto your right thigh, interlace the fingers. Gently press right thigh forward, belly in. I think I've used the word gentle already 10 times. It's a good one to imprint in the psyche. Now we'll take the arms up, press the palms up. Let your power yoga be very gentle. Be gentle with yourself, be gentle with your heart. Be gentle with your circumstance and definitely be gentle with your physical body. One more breath, heart lifts. Now as you exhale, bring the hands down to the ground, tuck the toes under the back foot, press back downward dog. Inhale plank, exhale chaturanga. Inhale upward dog. And exhale, down dog. Left foot steps through to the front of the mat. Reach the left arm up for a twist. That front foot, the left one, stamp it down firmly and initiate the twist from your navel. One more breath, open it up. As you exhale, left hand down to the ground, right knee to the mat. Interlace your fingers, maybe switch one finger over this time on the left thigh. Gently press that left thigh forward a little bit, belly in. And then when you're ready, reach the arms up, palms pressed to the sky, shoulders down the back. Deep breath. Good, and release the hands down, tuck the back toes, press back, down dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale back, downward dog. Good. When you're ready, bring your feet to the front of your space, please. Align your feet. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold in. Rise up to stand up. Arms reach. Inhale. And fold forward on the exhale. Lengthen. Inhale. And as you exhale, step the left foot straight back behind you. And then right leg back to down dog split. Inhale. Exhale, right knee hugs into the chest. Inhale to down dog, lift the right leg. Again, exhale, right knee hugs into the chest. One more time. Right leg lifts up. Inhale. As you exhale, Right knee hugs into the chest. 
Plank pose, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Good, breathe. Step the right foot through to the front of your mat. Please come up to crescent pose. Float the arms up, lift the low belly. Take the wrists back a little bit so you get space across the collarbones. Feel the left hip rotate a little forward. Palms meet in front of the heart. And we'll step left ankle up and over the right thigh. Bend the right knee, flex the feet. And we'll move into a half chair position. Retract the shoulder heads, lift the frontal hip points. Soften the jaw. Come up, lift that left knee for a moment, and then set the left foot down next to the right. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right foot steps straight back behind you. And then inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee hugs into your chest. Inhale to down dog, lift that left leg. As you exhale, left knee hugs into your chest. One more time, left leg lifts up. Exhale, hug the left knee into your chest. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps up to the front of your mat. Come up to crescent pose on the back toes. Feel the hips level, right? Lift the low belly. And again, wrists back a little bit. And palms meet at the heart. Step the right leg up. Right ankle over the left thigh. Flex the right foot. Retract the shoulder heads. Soften the lower floating ribs in. Breathe. Come up, lift the right knee, and set the right foot down next to the left. Bend your knees to chair pose on an inhale. Fold forward on an exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps through to the front of your mat. Come up, warrior one. Open up, warrior two pose. This will be our flow today. Reverse your warrior, inhale. And exhale, release the hands down to the mat. Step to plank and lower to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Left side. Step through. Warrior one, come up. Inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale. And release to plank and lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale back, down dog. Deep, steady breath. Again, walk or hop the feet to the front of your space. Lengthen, inhale. 
Fold in, exhale. Bend your knees, chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps through, back heel flat. Warrior one, come up, inhale. Warrior two on the exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale. And exhale, release to plank and lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Left side, step through. Warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale. And exhale, release. Deep breath. By the way, I don't say this often enough, but if you ever feel like you want to take a break and put your knees down, please know that that's available to you. It's like fun to sweat it out, but some days we need more than others, so you dial into what you need today. Again, walk or hop the feet up. Lengthen, inhale, fold, exhale. Bend your knees, chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Lengthen, inhale, exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right side, step through. Warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse, inhale. And vinyasa on the exhale, lower down. Inhale up, exhale back. Left side, step through, come up for a breath, inhale. Open up, exhale. Reverse, inhale, exhale, release to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. One more round. When you're ready, walk or hop the feet up. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Bend the knees, Utkatasana, inhale, fold on the exhale. Lengthen, inhale, exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog, right side, step through. Come up, warrior one. Open to warrior two. Reverse warrior, inhale. And release to plank and lower down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps through. Come up, warrior one. Open to warrior two. Inhale, sweep up and back. Exhale, let it all go, chaturanga. Beautiful. All right, so we'll keep it moving here. Step the right foot through, back heel flat, warrior one, come up. We'll open up to warrior two pose. Deep breath. Feel the inner legs hug together. Feel the inner legs hug together and the low belly lift up. Good, one more breath here, you guys. Okay, release the hands down. Step back to plank, and let's roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Reach the right arm up for side plank. Hips up, belly in. 
Maybe corners of the mouth lift. That's maybe the most important adjustment that you'll get all, all day. Just lift the corners of your mouth. One more inhale, hips up higher. Exhale, release and lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left side, step through. Come up, warrior one and we'll open to warrior two. Let's settle in. So we warm up the hips, quads, so as. Engage the abdominal muscles, low belly, middle abdominals, lower floating ribs. Soften in. Breath moves. Mindfully and thoroughly. Good. We'll release the hands. Step to plank. Roll to the outer right foot. Reach the left arm up. Hips up a lot. Find a lift up out of the right shoulder. Release, chaturanga, a dog, and exhale, down dog. So we length the breath with the movement to build heat. We build heat to release heat. Sweating is one of the best ways to cool the body down. It's not the only way and too much sweat is definitely too much. Sweat is the fluid of the heart. We don't want to sweat out too much. When you're ready, bring the feet to your hands. Like every single day to have a massive sweat is not necessarily the best thing. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, lengthen, exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, down dog. Right side, step through, come up, warrior one. Open up to warrior two. All right, you guys, let's straighten the right leg, lengthen forward through the right arm and come into triangle pose. Find your spot in triangle, set it up so that it's supported and it feels open, so it feels spacious. And then breathe with that. Feel that right hip hug into the midline. Your right sitting bone points toward your left foot. Hug the inner legs together. Fire up the legs. Lengthen through your spine. Okay, and we'll step up to half moon pose. Flex the feet, spread the toes. Beautiful. And we'll step back to side angle. Let's take the right hand to the outside of the right foot today, unless for some reason that just isn't working for your body, then you can come to the inside of the foot. Hand to a block is nice. Elbow to thigh also appropriate for many people. Now, if your right hand is on the outside of the right foot, Feel that right shin and the right knee gently work toward your right arm. Your right hip hugs in, like in the opposite direction of the arm. Get a little rotation in the upper back. 
and then both hands come down to the ground. Come up on the back toes. Okay, bring both hands inside the right foot. Heel toe the right foot over to the right. And you can be on the fingertips or plant the palms. Gently hug the inner legs in toward each other. So now the right knee is hugged in toward the midline. Shoulders down the back. And step back to down dog. You can separate the hands to shoulders distance. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Okay, step the left foot through, back heel flat. Come up, warrior one. And open to warrior two. Good, left leg straight. Lengthen forward, take that left hand down somewhere that feels appropriate. Left side and right side are totally different, so be present with your body. Shoulders down the back. Breathing. Fire up the legs a lot, that's really important. Flex the quads, feel the inner legs hug together, and be mindful that that left hip is not collapsing out behind you. And when you're ready, step up to half moon. Flex the right foot. Relax your face. Good, everybody. Step back to side angle. You know, set it up. I'm doing left hand on the outside of the left foot. I've been trying to switch that up a little bit lately in my practice. It's good to switch things a bit. Belly in. Frontal hip points lift up toward your navel. Shoulders down the back. Good, everyone, both hands down to the inside of your left foot. Come up on the back toes, widen your stance a little bit. Hug that left hip into center, maybe plant the palms if that feels good. Be mindful not to lock out your elbows. If you're hypermobile, put a soft bend in the elbows. Back to downward dog. Good. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale back, down dog. Good, you guys. Bring your feet to the front of your mat. Lengthen the spine. Inhale. Fold in on the exhale. Rise all the way up to stand up. Inhale. Palms meet at the heart on the exhale. Close your eyes and do a scan of your body. Feel your feet, plant them down. Feel your heart, feel it beat. Feel the breath move through you. One last little bit of standing, okay? Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps through, come to crescent pose. And then we'll bring the hands down to the mat. Straighten the legs. Hop the left foot up a few inches. Spin the left toes in. Left heel flat to the floor. 
and fold forward into Parsvottanasana. Use blocks if they help you. Okay, and then we'll come into twisting triangles. So we'll finish this sequence with a twist. Left hand either to a block or the floor on the inside or outside of your right foot. I find that the balance is a bit easier for me. It's easier for me to get the alignment correct with my hand on the outside of the foot in this particular pose. However, I have a lot of flexibility in this particular in the outer hip and hamstrings. So it's really up to you. Reach the right arm up. I didn't always, but I really wanted to, I wanted this pose to get easier, so I practiced it a lot. That's how you get it, things to open. Now feel the inner legs hug together and get that rotation in the upper back. Beautiful, right hand down. Step back, downward facing dog pose. Good, left foot steps through. Come up to crescent for a breath. And then we'll straighten that left leg. Hop the right foot up a few inches, spin the right heel flat, belly in, fold forward. Okay, and then right hand either inside or outside the left foot. Use the block if it helps you. Left arm up for the twist. Inner legs hug together, belly in, and rotate. Good. And then release, downward facing dog. Okay, set the knees down on your mat. Sit back on your heels, close your eyes. You can rest your hands, palms up or palms down on your thighs. Notice how you feel. Okay. Let's come into camel. This will be our one and only back bend today. Stand up on the knees, hips up, knees hips apart, tailbone lengthened down, heart lifts. Maybe you reach back for your heels. Feel the shoulder blades move together. Lift the heart. Good, come on up, ankles cross behind you, bring the legs in front of you, separate the legs wide. Okay, now we're gonna go in the exact opposite direction and we'll begin the cool down part of our practice. Feel the sitting bones sink down, lengthen your spine into a little extension so you're not rounding a lot. If you're rounding right here in the low back, Sit up on a block or, or a bolster or a pillow or something where blankets folded could work. And you can sit yourself, you can practice sitting upright. For those of you that have more range of motion, you might walk your hands, maybe your elbows forward. Some of you maybe rest your forehead down, but set it up so that you get to your spot and then you close your eyes. Begin to allow your breath to slow down. And can you refine the quality of the breathing?
Okay, walk yourself up. Bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet together and fold forward into Baddha Konasana. Okay, roll yourself up. Stretch the right leg straight. Bend the left knee out to the side and fold over your right leg to any degree. Use a strap if it helps you. And to begin to take some of the effort out of the work. So you gently allow, gently allow it to happen. Okay, and switch sides. And fold forward. Okay, so now I'm going to teach a couple of very cooling pranayama exercises. Um, the first one is not especially cooling, but it's so therapeutic. It's one of the most powerful breathing practices that there is, in my opinion, and many other teachers as well. This is the Nadi Shodhana, the alternate nostril breath. And this is a powerful breath for harmonizing the right and left hemispheres of the brain, as well as the right and left sides of the body. So you'll go ahead and plug up your left nostril. Inhale through the right side. And then pause on full. And then plug up the right side. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Good, and then release. You could practice this for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, if you wanted to. OK. 
Okay, and now we'll move on. Take a deep breath in. And let it go out your mouth. Okay, so the next breath is, uh, it's called the Satali breath. And this is a very cooling breath. If you ever feel like just very, very hot, this is a good one to cool down with. So you'll, if you can curl your tongue, do that. And if you cannot curl your tongue, then you'll still make, um, you'll purse your lips a little like you're sipping air through a straw. So you'll inhale through the mouth. It's inhale and exhale through the mouth on this one. So again, if you can curl your tongue, do that. But an inhale, sip. And then the exhale is a like you're fogging up a mirror, okay? Inhale. And exhale. And you can, if you have the power of visualization, you can imagine inhaling blue light. And exhale, anything you don't need. Red is a good color when it comes to heat. Inhale. And good, one more time. And beautiful. Okay, so let's come down to rest in Shavasana. You can do those breathing practices anytime. You don't have to be warmed up for them. I've been doing them every day for the last couple of weeks, and it's very helpful. Shavasana is also very cooling. Feel your body soften, and imagine that you were floating in the cool, buoyant water of the sea. And feel your body let go completely as you rest here supported. And then when you're ready, stretch your arms and legs. Hug your knees to your chest. Roll to your side. And press yourself back up to a comfortable seat. Close your eyes. Notice how you feel in your body. Allow the quality of gentleness to permeate every cell in your body. And bring your palms together in front of your heart. Lift your heart up, bow your head in. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. This is Michelle Goldstein. You're at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Please subscribe to Heart Alchemy, you guys. We love hearing from you. Leave us your comments. 
please give us likes, share the videos. It helps us out so much and we're so grateful. This We offer this content freely and so your support really makes a difference. Thank you so much, you guys. See you next week.